So today's uh, reading, that episode that's reported in Matthew, Mark and Luke about Jesus going to the temple, having the conversations with the religious leaders, and then the disciples saying, look at this wonderful temple, isn't it fantastic? And Jesus leading into that apocalyptic style literature, talking about the destruction of the temple, which of course was a historical fact um, some decades later, but also metaphorically the destruction of that religion and the whole need to disassemble structures and traditions because yes the things of the world are beautiful and they're attractive but they're transient and Jesus came to make it obvious that our relationship with the living God is dynamic and free not bound by any tradition or certainly any building um, and the need for people to engage with that in their hearts and that's really the message for today which is all about Yes, we sit in sometimes corporate worship, listening to somebody speak, which is kind of bizarre and part of our tradition. But it's really about what we do when we leave church. It's about how we spend every waking moment of our individual lives, because we're all entrusted with gifts and talents. And we're certainly all entrusted with a mission field, people that we are called to love, opportunities to show care and empathy and concern to give our time and the things that God has entrusted into our care to use all our talents and gifts and possessions for the benefit and the joy of others. This is a life lived in all its fullness. For to have received so very freely inspires, in the words of the song we sang this morning, us to freely give. How can you do anything else? It's not a duty, it's not a commitment, it's not a, uh, a right. It's a response. How can you not pour out your heart in love to others when you yourself know yourself to have been loved so much by the God who made all things?